Hello everybody. Welcome back to How to Build a B-1 Bomber. I, uh, Dad came over this morning and we took our mold apart. It was just killing us. We had to see it. Now, and we got some other stuff to do. I still got some parts to make. Uh, but that is my fuselage mold. Some things, they didn't, they didn't look that big when it was on the airplane. But they're monsters. I don't know what we're doing here. But this thing is huge. But it all just turned out great. On my corners. You can see where I put my thick stuff in them corners. You can see all the way around where I did that. It all turned out pretty good. I got a couple little air bubbles here and there. But uh, basically it all came out pretty good. All my panel lines really came out good. See there's uh, part of my gear doors. And then it'll turn around. But what we got to do is, uh, remember I was telling you that I was going to have molded gear doors? Well, there ain't no molds in my hatches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to my plug, and we're going to flip that upside down. And uh, I'll show you on this, it's easier. But I'm going to make another mold. I'm just going to make just a straight one to get my bomb base and my gear doors. And I'm just going to make it just a little bit wider. Just, to, just big enough to where I can cut these bomb bays out and my gear doors and all these pieces. Then what I'm going to do is uh, when I get them laid up off the mold, I'll make another part and actually make my gear doors to where I can make my gear doors. And then I'll take some double face tape and I'll tape them where they need to go. And my bomb bays will so that will give me my lip. And when I lay my glass across there, when that all sets up, I'll have a perfect lip. But I'll explain more about that when I get my parts made. But we will have molded gear doors. And uh, here's the top piece. And uh, them panel lines just really came out nice. You can see them a little better now. But they really, really came out nice. All over the whole plane. And, uh... And then here is the nose. This is just wider because we had we bought some more epoxy towards the end, and uh, we just bought white epoxy. But there's my nose gear door. I'm gonna do the same thing with that. I'm gonna go back to my plug. We're gonna flip it over, and I'm gonna lay up just a piece wide enough to get my gear doors over it. And when that sets up, I'll be able to take that off and make gear doors because once this lip is in here uh, we won't have no gear doors left on my mold. I'll have to mold them separate. And here is my two back halves. This is how I'm going to put these together. I'll lay these up separate then we'll come in here and trim my edges then we'll bolt these parts together just like I got them and then we'll come in here with our one inch fiberglass tape and put them together. Then I could bolt this part back to the top and lay that piece of tape on there. Then I could put my bottom on there and it'll just be like a erector set. But here's my nose piece and my canopy area. It all came out really good. There's the little windows for the top. The windshield goes around place for the ejection capsule uh, in the back all my little panel lines back here they all just really stand out on my mold they're going to make nice parts especially when they're vacuum backed but that's where we are and uh, I'm going to flip that thing back over today and uh, make make just the one all my gear door molds and my bomb base and I'll, I'll explain more of that process when we get to it. But we will have molded gear doors and molded bomb bays. Man, and things are huge. They are just monsters. They didn't look, the plane don't look that big. See, that don't look that big. But look, <laughs> little, big, little, big. <laughs> but the mold is done. So this, this is my happy dance. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna get back to you. We're gonna get back to work, 
And I wish I could have been at Florida Jets with y'all this weekend, but didn't make it. But I'll make it there next year. So, until next week, we will see you in the shop.